steer synchronization. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't find the steer synchronization, you get an error code. Mm -hmm. If you turn that off, it knows now, okay, well, we don't have steer synchronization. I don't have to look for that angle anymore. It's mm -hmm. already there. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you want to do is change that when you get into options. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the battery, because you want to make sure it's 36 volt. Mm -hmm. And then you get into, like I said, the matching. Matching. Does that say matching? Or? Matching, yeah. And what matching does, it allows you to set up all the angle pot sensors, which is the mast and the steering. So as long as you uh, like put it in center and and these go up a certain height and then it will, yeah. the computer will like memorize it, right? The computer will memorize it and then it's able to calculate the load and the steer position. So right now, we're looking at the for the forward tilt. We just want to get it up about two feet off the ground, and that'll allow you to stop the you know button wherever you want it to stop at. Same thing happens when you go past this lift limit switch. Mm -hmm. It sets up that, so now it has a load sense in there, and it will set up for the angle so it doesn't go too far forward when it has the load upon it. Then the last one would be the load itself so it knows how much it's lifting without anything on there and then it can calculate and compensate from this point as a zero so now when it picks up 1500 pounds it knows okay i'm not going to tilt forward i'm not going to allow you to tilt forward because you're going to throw the center angle off and it just it'll just tilt forward last one being the tire match and that's what we did over here with the steering <laughs> so that way i can turn all the way left no code, mm -hmm. all the way right. No oh, code. Bernard. Yeah. And that does that. That's pretty much it right there. And to open it up again, just a quick rundown. I have, I have to one, two, and oh, then. Oh, to access? Yeah, to access. We'll do it right now. Okay. So cool. what it is, is the top two buttons, hold down and listen for the beat. Then left, right, and then two and three buttons. And then I should take you to the Wait menu. For the beat, it takes you in and it'll show you all the versions of the computer and then it takes you straight to the menu screen. And you said if you're not seeing the numbers or so it's not complete, is that what? You, uh, if you're uh, missing a version number uh -huh. and you have a problem with the forklift either not traveling, no hydraulic functions, mm -hmm. and you see that portion of the software missing from the display, it's probably a good indication that that driver has either failed or the wire harness is. Um, broken somewhere and that'll be a quicker indication for you to say hey you know what I don't have to look down here I got to look back there first mm -hmm. and then if you see hey all right well the computer's good it's just not turning on if you check for power it's not there then you know it's a wiring issue mm -hmm. so it'll help you diagnose faster other than that that's pretty much it for uh, for the basics of it right there I mean you got pretty much the inside you know how, right. how to attack these trucks you guys have a training 